In this video, I'm going to illustrate to you in very simple terms why the dollar and the euro are mathematically guaranteed to collapse and have been since the moment they were created. You don't need to be an economist to understand what I'm going to show you. A little common sense will do just fine. The dollar and the euro are debt-based currencies created by the Federal Reserve and the European Central Bank. Now, these central banks, while masquerading as public entities, are actually made up of a consortium of the most powerful private banks in the world. When I say that the dollar and the euro are debt-based currencies, what this means is that dollars and euros are loaned into existence. Central banks create money out of thin air by loaning money that does not yet exist to their respective governments. Since the vast majority of money in circulation is now digital, such an operation doesn't even require the printing of physical paper. Money and the debt that accompanies it is simply typed into existence. Now these privately owned central banks don't just loan out their imaginary money for free. They charge interest. But the money to pay back that interest doesn't yet exist in the system. Since all money is created this way, there's always more total debt plus interest to be paid back than there is money. This forces governments to constantly return to those banks for more loans, which create more money and interest. This is obviously a Ponzi scheme, and like all Ponzi schemes, it can only work for so long. The inevitable result when there's more total debt to be paid due to interest than money in existence is that eventually the debt will reach such astronomical proportions that it will become impossible to service that debt. This is why I said that the collapse of the dollar and the euro is a mathematical certainty. It's been guaranteed since the beginning by the very nature of our monetary system. You might ask yourself why anybody in their right mind would set up a system like this that's guaranteed to fail. Well, the answer is simple. For the same reason that any criminal sets up a Ponzi scheme. There's a small group of bankers who get very, very rich at the expense of the public before the system begins to falter. And they use that money to buy up real assets that maintain their value after the currency falls. Sound criminal to you? Well, that's because it is. But you know what? They're going to get away with it if we don't make a concentrated effort right now to educate the public about the true nature of money and the private central banks which are leading us to the slaughter. And if we let them get away with it this time, the next Ponzi scheme is going to be even bigger.